In this video, you'll learn how to move content from one layer to another, and then how to easily find content in the Layers panel. If you want to follow along, you can open this practice file from the practice files for this tutorial. To make sure that you see all of the content in the document, choose View, Fit All in Window. This postcard has two artboards or pages with artwork on each. Since the document already has artwork on it, it makes sense to start organizing the content in layers. Now the layers panel makes selecting easier, temporarily hides content so you can focus on other artwork, locks content so you can't select it, and more. The first thing you'll do is open the layers panel to see the layers in the document. Choose Window, Layers. In the layers panel it opens on the right, you can see that there is one layer that contains all of the content for both artboards. You'll organize the artwork by putting the content for each artboard on a separate layer. So one layer for the front of the postcard and another for the back of the postcard. To change the name of the first layer, double click the name Layer 1 and change it to Back. Then press Enter or Return to make that change. To make a new layer, click the Create New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. A new layer is added above the selected layer named Back. To change its name, double click the layer name and change it to Front. Then press Enter or Return. With the layers created, you'll now move some of the content to the new layer named Front. So with the Selection tool selected in the Tools panel, drag across all of the artwork on the artboard on the left to select it. Each layer has an assigned color. You can see the blue color for the back layer in the Layers panel. You can tell that all of the selected artwork is on the back layer because it has a blue color on the bounding box surrounding it, which matches the color of the layer. Also, in the Layers panel, this blue square on the back layer tells you that the selected content is on this layer. That little blue square is called a Selection Indicator. To move the content from the back layer to the front layer, drag the little blue square straight up to the front layer. When a red box appears, release the mouse button. You can see that the content is now on the front layer, and the color associated with the content is now red, which is the color of the front layer. To hide the content on the front layer, click the eye icon. You should see that the content on the left-hand artboard is now hidden. To show the content again, click the blank area where the eye icon was on the front layer. Now that the layers are created and the content is on the correct layers, you'll learn how to find content in the Layers panel. This can be helpful when you need to hide content or see how it's organized in relation to other content. So click to select this green background rectangle on the artboard on the left. In the Layers panel, click the Locate Object button at the bottom of the panel. The content on the front layer is now showing. This is a great way to see the object you selected in the Layers panel and be able to tell where it is in the stacking order. In other words, if it's on top of other artwork, or in this case, since it's at the bottom of the layer, behind all of the other content on that layer. By showing all the content on a layer, you can also do things like hide one object on a layer instead of the whole layer by clicking the eye icon for that single object. To hide the front layer content, click the arrow here. That way you can keep the layers panel a little neater so you can easily see all of the layers. Now that you know how to manage the content in your documents using the layers panel, you can better organize your artwork in whatever way makes sense to you.